He has Scruggs all over him defensively. Anderson has to reach for that pass. Back Anderson up. shoots over Fremantle and scores. For Jack Nunji, who had played only about three minutes when he picked up his second foul, had come out of the game and then was just reinserted during that last time out by head coach Travis Steele. Floater off the glass, kissed in. Odom over the top for Nunji, but too far and picked off by Walker. He feeds Anderson in transition, who has fouled <laughs> having played basketball instead of football right now. Hey, Johnson will trigger it in. Just kind of throws it blindly back for Nunji, and Anderson read that, takes it all the way. They hold it for the final shot in this one point game. Put Fremantle in a pick and roll and try to identify the mismatch. Anderson going to launch a three. Good. He beats the horn by about a second. He finds the bucket there, and that's his first two points of the night. That was a great slip screen right there. If they can get him going, it will really help because he's a four man who can put the ball on the floor and make plays. Miles, 17 oh, footer. That's off the back rim. Pass up ahead all along. The stuff. Holmes but misses the shot. Smart move by Coach Boyden bringing Cisse back in the game. I think they really needed a big to contain Nunji and Freeman. <laughs> have to go look for a big to box out. Do you, you rarely ever have to fill up the zone, whether that be passing, driving, however you got to do, get it to the middle of the zone. Do not get stagnant right here and fall in love with the jumper. Well, Anderson a three. They'll fall in love with me. Newton not that time. Loose ball. Williams. Donovan Williams gets to it to keep it alive for the Pokes. Newton's going to try another. Good. His second. Uh oh. And that's the dagger, folks. In and out. Put back. Cisse saves it along the baseline. Three, Anderson, good. Timeout.